Hey guys, so it has been a long weekend of editing for me, and I'm pretty tired, but I wanted to get another video out there to talk about the rocket launcher experience stuff and some changes that were made and some things that were added tonight and I don't want to just add them or change them without letting you guys know what I did because then you go in and be like what the hell is this or what happened here so the first thing I'm gonna say is I finished the fades and I was taking requests for fades when I put out my previous rocket launcher experience video and I got some requests uh, if you request one, if I if I say, hey, I'm looking for requests for media, tell me what you want, give me a suggestion in the comments, then when I finish your part, I go ahead and give it to you. So the people that requested them already got theirs. Um, I hope they like them. I, I have gotten back from them, messages back from them, and they did like them. So that's a good thing. Um, but I added about 25 more fades, so I will show you some of the artwork from those fades. Uh, there's the, all right, so let's make this window a little smaller. Like I said, I'm tired, so I don't, I don't remember the full names of all the systems. It doesn't even show up there. So the Onstrad, CPC, Android, we'll make it full screen then. Android, Atari 8-bit, Atari ST, Capcom Play System 2, the Examu or Examu EX board. I had never heard of this one until uh, I went to make this fade, so I'm gonna look into this one for sure. Maybe there's some games on there I'd want. My camera's skipping, but oh well. Uh, Polygame Master, probably one of my favorites out of the ones I just did. Uh, Microsoft Windows 3.X, Namco System 22, NEC PC 8801, NEC PC 9801, Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo 64 Double D, DSiWare, Game & Watch, Satellaview, Wii Virtual Console, Wii U, Wii Wear, Sega Hikaru, Sinclair's DX81, PlayStation 3, PSP Minis, Nessica X Live, and Xbox 360. Now... <clears throat> Some of these aren't even really truly emulatable yet, like PS3 and 360 and stuff. But I want to be ahead of that because, excuse me, just like the Wii U, you never know what can happen. So uh, I wanted those fades to be available in case we turn the corner and all of a sudden people are playing 360 games on the arcade. Um, all right, so those are the new fades, and those are in the folder. The download folder you can see them with the purple dots those are all new ones so if you already got all my fades previously it's not hard to locate the new ones just look for the purple dots and i'll keep those dots up until the next time i add fades so they'll be there for a while i may not do any more fades for a couple months i don't know what's up with my camera it's acting funky but let me turn a light towards me it might not be getting enough light. That's probably it. Ah, let's still do it. Who cares? So, um, let's go ahead and just do that then. You guys don't need to see me. So, like I said, purple dots are the new fades. So, you can go ahead and pick those up if you haven't got them, if you're interested in them. If not, then don't. <laughs> Alright, so... The next thing I did was, uh, what's the first folder? Okay, so if you have seen my media in the folders before, you'll have noticed that there was a download for guides and there was a download for controller, the controller section. And the controller section was all maps for, for the systems that I had maps for. And the guide section was manuals and guides. I changed that. So now the guide section is manuals, maps, and guides. Please don't hate me. I know it's it, it was a lot of trouble to sort the stuff and all this and that. I understand. 
but this was for the better because now it freed up the controller section in pause for people who use the controller section and I basically did the work for you here all you have to do is just re-download it and as long as you didn't add anything extra to your folders for manuals and such then you just get rid of the old stuff and put in the new stuff um, it's all the same stuff it's just organized that's all so if you're afraid you're gonna mess something up or lose something by trying to do it this way then don't do it um, but just know that the folders look like this now so when you go into the media rocket launcher media guides pick your system and then pick your game this is inside the folder it's got the guides the manual and a folder that's labeled maps and the reason in case anybody's wondering why I use these plus signs on stuff it's to push it to the top in case there's any other folders added so let's say there's a Nintendo Power Players guide in here I don't want that to be at the top of the list when you're browsing through pause and then for maps to show up you know well it wouldn't be alphabetically but you get what I'm saying um, there's some folders with two or three guides that are in folders and and this keeps it more organized when the map section is pushed to the top of pause on every game that has maps and the same goes for the manuals I put the plus plus sign there and that pushes it to the top of the PDF files rather than having to sort or sift through them while you're in pause to find the, the game manual um, and why do I put plus plus instead of just plus because I like to save that spot in case there's anything I add later that I want to put under the manual but above the the guides and I can just put a plus on that so it's it's a bit crazy I know but that's how I sort things um, for anyone who's ever wondered why those are there so this is the new standard that I'll be following from from here on out and anytime I add more guides or maps or manuals it, it will be added under that section under guides in the uh, media folder in rocket launcher so I will no longer be using the controller folder whatsoever because there are a lot of people who use the controller folder for controller stuff so it doesn't make any sense to take that away and just keep I'll just keep everything in the guides folder I hope that makes sense to everybody because it made sense to me and uh, that's that's pretty much all I wanted to point out so those changes have been made on the mega upload where I took the old maps and guides out I erased them and restructured the guide folders rezip them and re-uploaded them in the proper way so now what's on mega upload is the standard that I'll be using from here on out so your choices are to either change to this standard if you want to stick with my media don't change to this standard and just deal with it later on or um, get rid of the old stuff and download the things that are here now and just replace it those are your three choices I'm not forcing anyone to do anything I'm just letting you know this is how I'll be going from from here on out um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I really don't have anything else to say. I just wanted to point those two things out. So I hope everybody enjoys the new fades. A few of them were pretty difficult to find artwork for. Um, but other than that, uh, I have a new video out, by the way. I spent the entire weekend editing it. Uh, I have more respect than ever for the people who do those types of videos because they are not easy. But I was happy doing it. I tried to put a little bit of humor in it. I'm talking about the top 10 programs for your arcade cabinet, of course. Uh, I put in some humor in there. I tried to have fun doing it, and I absolutely did. So I will try to make more videos like that as far as the countdown videos. Um, I like to stay more serious when it comes to the, to the media and things like that. Uh, but as far as countdown videos, I'm going to try to make them more fun. I'm going to try to do, do stuff like that more often. Uh... All right, so that's that's it. So make sure to get the new stuff if you haven't. Make sure to like this video, by the way, because unfortunately my top 10 countdown video that I worked all weekend on for already has a dislike, a thumbs down. But what can you do, you know? Uh, so make sure to like my videos if you like my stuff. 
it goes a long way in pushing out the bad apples from the channel who just like to download the stuff and then give me a thumbs down on my other videos because that's not what they're looking for. It's silly. Um, so thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, and I'll catch you guys later.